This is called We End With Art. Whoever said that mankind will end not with a whimper but with a bang never got to see the two of us in our element. See, I'll admit that humans are inherently fragile, and I'll even concede that the same logic applies to the creatively gifted. But there are no whimpers in the precise way you pinpoint the picture-perfect amounts of life to place in two-dimensional portraits of the soul, painted to make three-dimensional people look like cracked porcelain and broken pencil points. And any pessimistic pinprick on the grand scheme map of the universe would be pretty hard-pressed to find a whimper in how your fingers don't really do anything to make art, they just are art. Ooh. From the small bones connecting joints, gently wrapped in nerves, blanketed by muscle fibers warmed by angel-soft skin, that would easily be used as a canvas for doodles and notes, and masterpiece portraits of paper suddenly became a scarcity. Mankind can't end with a whimper, and it can't settle for something as weak as a bang when there's an artist around that can make mankind erupt. Mm. Not erupt in the way volcanoes blow their tops, because that is a whimper compared to the noise you stir up when you strip yourself down to pastels and watercolors and become the pulse that your fingers caress out of sketches of boys Ooh. finding love on computer screens and kisses thrown like fastballs because blowing kisses is just as weak as volcanoes spilling their guts to try and amount to my soul spilling out to be the first breath giving your pulse propelled pieces life. Ooh. And please don't press the point of whimper-soaked endings when the sight of your art and your body in motion imitating art is simply the beginning of man's last hurrah, vocalized by the joy, the jubilation, the justified jolt of jolly jumping off vocal cords and jamming up any jaded notions of going out with a whimper. See? You're the bang. Not like the whimper the world first heard when the atom was split. You are the big bang resonating in my chest that causes me to speak, to vocalize, to personify, to stand up and alliterate, to reason and rhyme and rhythmically run down all the ways that spoken words work to repopulate the night sky with life and forms and shapes so reinvigorated that the first big bang sounds like a revolver backfiring and ripping apart whimpering oh. redcoats with ruined bits of revolutionized shrapnel. Oh. I want you to draw for me. Never stop drawing for me. Keep drawing for me even after mankind has gone out with its nose, skimming the Milky Way, and its last sound a recitation of Reeves. And any second thoughts of whimpers remain firmly buried under stacks of your storybook sketches stenciled and strung together into starry constellations packed tighter than impossible stone structures named Stonehenge. And I... I'll be your words. Your dialogue that delivers the implicit daydreams and dismal derivations of your art into daylight and, del and delights of something so detrimental to the ultimate destination of you and I and our kinds shuddering at the dread of one day being destined to bow out of creation with the same sound reserved for dried out wells driving out dust. Mm -hmm. Stories. I want to write stories with you, muse of Monet and matriarch of modernist movements molded into the melody of motivated studies and meticulous creativity. You bring the pretty, the, you bring the pretty pictures. I'll bring the whimsical words. Mm. And we'll give our kind something more inspired than woeful whimpers to bow out of creation with. Let's give mankind the permanent passion of a love story tattooed on our skin. Let's give mankind the very violence of lust-laced whimpers bred from vodka-soaked embraces and heaven-tinged VNLs. Let's give mankind the kind of imposing impressiveness reserved for epics like the Iliad, impress everything from the inklings of ideas in newborns to the kind of introspection instigated by gazing upon items infinitely greater than us. Mm. Let's write our story. Let's outline the stories of our kind. Let's see to it that the last whimper of mankind ends not with a whimper and certainly not something as broken as a bang, but with art. The simple smile, the light of laughter, the heaping of heartstring heaving, harmoniously hatched herps that will hope to be met with the right frequency of frequently found derps that signal the flight of earnest fueled moments. Moments of art. Moments that just are. Are what we say they are. Because mankind will not end with a whimper. It ends with our art. It ends mm. however we decide it ends. Mm. Woo!